Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and this is Jailbreak. And in this episode, I'm going to show you what I did to bleed my brakes by myself the first time, one and done. I added a lot of weight to this truck, so I put six piston calipers up front and remanufactured calipers in the rear, new rotors all the way around. Now I gotta bleed them, and I hate that. Now Toyotas are notorious for being a pain in the butt to bleed, and I wanted to do this by myself. And formerly owning a Land Cruiser, one of the most difficult trucks on earth to bleed the brake system, I've been using this product, and you should probably check it out if you find yourself doing things like this often. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, you're going to have to sit back, you're going to want to relax, and you're going to want to check this out. So bleeding brakes sucks, and it especially sucks when it's freezing outside, and you're on the ocean, and the wind is blowing, and you have a Toyota, and you have ABS, etc., etc. Well, a couple of few years ago, I found this little item for 99 bucks, and this thing has been absolutely invaluable. And if you find yourself in a situation like I do, you may want to take a look at this really hard, because it's well worth the cost of admission, in my opinion. It's called a Speedy Bleed, and it's made in Canada. It's a bottle with a hose on either end. One of them has a billet aluminum cap that fits right into your master cylinder. And then it has a pressure gauge and a pressure control knob that literally plugs onto your tire. It uses the air from your tire as the compressor to force air into the bottle and force the brake fluid through your braking system, making it a one and done setup. This thing is really easy and I'm gonna show you how to use it right here, step by step. This is a video I did about three years ago when I first got this thing and I was doing it on my Land Cruiser. So check this out. First thing is throw on a pair of gloves. Brake fluid is highly corrosive and try not to spill it under the hood. Pull your master cylinder cap off Take the Speedy Bleed aluminum cap with the O-ring, gently press it in. It'll pop right in. And then set the three wing nuts and make sure it's secure. Now, take the reservoir, remove the cap, make sure you don't have it pressurized to your tire yet, and fill it to the line at the top with brake fluid, whatever brake fluid your vehicle needs. Once the reservoir is full, securely put the cap on. Make sure the bottle is in a place where it can't tip over. And take the regulator hose, put that in a place where you can easily see it. Take your valve air stem cap off and place the adapter on and lock it in position. The system is now pressurized. Double check everything, make sure there's no leaks. Good to go, looks good. Nice. On top of the regulator knob, there's a large plus or minus. Turn that to the plus side slowly. You want about 10 to 12 pounds of pressure. That's all you need. Bam. Now it's time to double check. I double check everything a lot. 
and under the truck we go. Go to the furthest away brake caliper, rear passenger side. Take a rubber hose into whatever bucket you're going to bleed this into. Open your bleeder and it will start flowing, flowing nicely. Look at that. Take out as much brake fluid as you think you need. My truck's already been bled for the most part, so I'm fairly good to go. Move to the next closest to the master cylinder and repeat till you do all four sides. If you have to refill the container, make sure you remove the valve from your tire first or this will be pressurized and you will be wearing brake fluid. Nobody likes that. Make sure of that. Put it back on, repeat the same process, and continue bleeding till you are done, son. This entire setup for 99 bucks was well worth it to me. It's really well made, it works incredibly simply. There's a quick connect so you can use this on multiple vehicles if you happen to have multiple multiple vehicles. And for the price, the reward was well worth it in my opinion. So how was that for a throwback? I've had this thing for about three or four years. I've probably used it a dozen times. And if you mess with your vehicle as much as I do, you end up bleeding brakes and doing things over and over for whatever reason. But this thing is really well made. I've never had an issue with it. And I mean, billet aluminum, it clamps right onto your master cylinder. It fits all Toyotas. And you can get an adapter for any type of car and plug it right onto your system. It's easy works really well. You bleed your brakes once and you know that you're good to go. You don't have to come back, jack it all up, have your wife, your girlfriend or whatever, your next door neighbor come over and pump your brake for you because your tire is supplying the pressure. It's a really slick setup and I have zero affiliation with these guys. It's just a good setup and I guess I highly endorse it. At any rate, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I will try to return the favor. I am out.